everybody, welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to any new subscribers that may be visiting for the first time. So I had these sitting under some books for about an hour and I've just decided to come back and have a play. They're not quite as flat as I hoped they would be but we're going to have a go anyway. So I've got here my archival link and my Heidi Swap stamp. And I'm just going to ink it up. And I'm actually going to do a first impression on my backing paper because I don't want it super dark. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And I'm going to turn it up the other way. And I want to do an impression on the back as well. And then across the tab. Okay, <laughs> just pop my hand in the ink, I think. So really happy with that. I am going to see if I can get a little bit more. Beautiful. Okay, so doing the others the same. Stamping off my first impression. Okay, scooching that across so I can use separate parts of my backing sheet. <laughs> oh, the downside to curly paper. It just wants to flip up at me. And I'm pretty happy with that. I am going to end up with ink everywhere, I think. Okay. I love this stamp because it's like a pre-made collage and the inconsistencies I think are what offers that little bit of extra detail that I really love. If I could find more stamps like this one with that collage type effect I would totally add them to my collection. And I didn't know I loved it until I got it, so. Um, 
beautiful. I'm wondering if I have. So this backing sheet will be different again because it won't have the gesso over it. I probably could have sat that a little bit higher, but that's okay. a lot to do when you're filming I've decided six of anything Fabulous. Okay, and I'm just going to clean off my stamp. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. So just setting that aside and then oh my gosh they're fabulous so then I want to have a play with my tissue paper that we have printed and I don't actually know how it's going to go with the glue so I'm just going to quickly dry this sheet off I'm going to use this as a test run I think my my pot here and I just want a small brush so I have this one I think this will work quite well okay and then I have my tissue paper here which again has been sitting with the paper clips on it and has been under some heavy file folders just to flatten it out a little bit and seems to have worked reasonably well so I just want to see and I might just use one of these little butterflies I want one with a fair bit of colour in it though hmm. maybe I'll use a bigger one I'd just like to see if my ink is going to run. That's basically what I'm worried about on my tissue paper when I add the glue. So, because if you've watched my video where I've made the Mod Podge, it is a mixture of glue and water. So it does have a water base. So I just want to make sure that 
the water base won't affect the ink on my print. So, and I think I might pop it down here. I think. Making sure I've got plenty of glue. And it doesn't appear to be affecting it. I wouldn't want to get it too wet, I don't think. But, oh my gosh, that's so fun. I'm just going to cover this over and I'm going to dry it. And that does seem quite dry to me, so I will bring that to the camera to show you. Okay, so you can see here I have the edges showing just slightly. But I don't appear to have any colour running from my printed image on my tissue paper. So super happy with that. And we will go ahead and add some focal points to our CD covers. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Okay. I think I might add a little distress ink. Actually, I might do that after. Okay, let's have some fun. So, I really like the idea of the smaller butterflies. This little one here is so sweet. And I'm just taking my time to tear this out. I don't have a lot of wiggle room. Okay. Maybe a little smaller. So the butterflies are from, oh gosh, I hope I get this right, from Allegra Digital, as are these flowers. Now, what would I like? That's kind of fun that way, isn't it? Okay. Make it a little piece. Okay. 
and I think I might go that way so I'm just going to open my glue and I do just keep a little piece of the baking paper or wax paper over the top of my container with my glue just to offer a little bit of extra seal and it stops the build up of glue around the top of I don't even think you can see it stops the build up of glue around the top of my lid okay so just adding my Mod Podge And a little glue in this instance goes a very long way. So be mindful to use a small brush and apply a small amount at a time. Okay, and then this little butterfly I'm going to pop over here. Sorry guys, he had a mind of his own as to how he wanted to go down there. He's almost blended into the colours of the, the crayon gels. So he really looks like he belongs there. I'm just wondering if I want something down here. I have here some. Let's see if I can get them. These are some patchwork designs from Antique Papery. I think they're in a limited edition pack. Don't quote me, I will check this, but I think it's a Victorian. I'll see if I can find a link and add that to the description. Just wondering if anything here jumps out at me. steering towards this one and I'm hoping I can just tear just one of these squares
my other thought just now was to pop a piece of that across the back. I'm wondering about that. So going to see if I can tear it with my tear ruler. Um, this is my first time trying to tear this with the tear ruler and it works remarkably well. I'm pleasantly surprised. And I do have some ink that is printed down there, but I think once it's on the cover, it will kind of blend with the stamping is what I'm thinking. Okay, so... And that is actually a perfect, oh my goodness, it's a perfect match, guys. Do I want, I think I just want one strip. What if I did one strip down one side? And maybe if I... Taking out some little pieces, as tiny as they are, I just want to mess up that even edge. Okay, so I'm just popping my rubbish up to the top of the table. Okay, I'm going to try this. I don't know how it will look, but... Something a little bit different. I actually really love that. Okay, I'm going to set that one aside. It's so fun. Okay. And what do I want to play with next? Oh, what about the baby mushrooms? And I will admit, I had planned on doing these mini CD covers for some time now. And as I was prepping to carry out this video, I hopped on Tracy Fox's Facebook page. And so her Foxy Crafters Facebook page and noticed her challenge for this month is I believe it's minis mini things and I sort of giggled to myself and I went well I don't really know that these classify as mini they are smaller than your normal CD cover but I, 
I don't really know if it would be considered a mini as such, but I was just like, I was doing something little anyway. How cute. And playing with this tissue paper, I don't know that I would want them too much smaller to play with because they are fiddly to tear. Not impossible by any means, but I think it would get tricky. Uh, I had considered making smaller CD covers, um, but I, I really like this size. I think they're, they're smaller than the standard without being too small that you can't actually use them in your journal for them to serve a purpose oh my goodness and Just looking to see, I don't actually remember what I've printed onto my tissue papers. Okay. So I've torn the top of the flower there. I'm hoping I can rescue it enough. And there it goes again. And just like that, I think. I'm trying to see if I can get rid of some of this excess tissue in here. Sorry, I just bumped the camera with my tiny little brush. I'm just going to leave that one like that I think that's super sweet okay and do I want to add 
maybe this side. Why not? I'm really loving the way these are coming out I must say it's so fun to just play And this wrinkling here is actually in the paper. And I'm hoping that will come out a little, not a lot, but a little, when I press them once I've finished. The more liquid I add to the paper, the more it's going to wrinkle the way it is. So there isn't really a whole lot of point in... Just such a subtle way to finish off that back. I fell in love with these patchwork backgrounds, which is why I purchased that kit. Okay, so that's two done. And these are a lot more vibrant. I really love that pink. If I can get to it. Okay, this is not wanting to tear, so I'm just going to, these glues, these scissors are so tacky right now. I think I've torn a couple of the leaves on this image, but that's okay. I think with this process too, having so much detail going on in the background, if there is slight imperfection in the image that you use, it's not as noticeable because there's so many other things to draw the eye. So if like me, your tearing isn't quite perfection, it's okay. Okay. Just going to see if I can. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm going to try it. I might bring that in a little bit.
and this glue does dry clear so if it goes beyond the realms of the tissue that's okay love that okay and what do I want down there butterfly at the bottom doesn't seem right to me so it may be the mushrooms I use again and then this little dark one here Just remember that I had wet glue there. It's so easy to get caught up in the moment when you're playing. Okay. Yes, I think that's fun. Oops, a bit too much glue there. As you can see, it really doesn't take very much. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the, the crayon isn't lifting with the liquid glue either. And my guess is because it's a gel, it probably has some sort of waxy seal in it, I am thinking. I'm not 100% sure, so again, not pushing too hard with the glue, just in case, but... Now, for the back of this, I was just thinking I have this burlap. So the burlap tissue that I've printed, the burlap is from Digital Curio, I believe. I hope I got that right. I will correct when I post if I've got it wrong. Um, and again, I've just printed it onto the tissue paper. And this is a really fun way to use my digitals. I have done this before, but not to this extent. And it's really opening up a whole new realm of possibility for me right now which I'm loving. And when I say that, the story is I have napkins. I have quite a few napkins that I a good supply. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I don't have a lot of napkins with just the white background. A lot of them are completely patterned and so for doing certain things like this where you do want that pattern to come through sorry you want the background to come through slightly um, 
they haven't worked ideally for that. And so, being able to print my own. Oh, I really like that. Just seeing if I can tear that a little bit. Being able to print my own from the digital papers that I have really does open up a whole new world of possibilities and ideas. And so you can see adding this dark burlap tissue to this CD cover is giving it a completely different feel to the others that I've done. The dark of the burlap gives it a real depth. We're just going over that tissue to make sure it's well and truly sealed. And I am noticing just a tad of colour. So I'm not going to mess with it too much more. And I think the colour is coming from the burlap itself. Perhaps because it's a, a darker, more patterned print. So I'm really just trying to wipe away that excess colour right now. And it seems to be moving quite easily. If I have a little bit that's okay I just okay I'm going to leave it at that so I'm going to sit that aside to dry okay Oh, he's cute. And I do have a little excess colour on my brush, I'm noticing. So I'm going to just wipe my brush off. I might just pick up that glue and do a fresh application. And that's nowhere near as noticeable. So 
so just remembering these darker colors have a tendency to bleed with the glue so trying to apply my glue without rubbing too hard and too often which is sometimes easier said than done okay And just for fun, I'm just playing really. Okay, and just be aware these large uh, border pieces, you could totally keep those and stamp using your archival ink or any other kind of 
waterproofing that you have and you could use those to collage with as well so I'm not going to throw that away it's a good size strip to be able to get a decent sized image on using stamps so waste not want not I'm just going to use a piece of this so again this is from I believe the same limited edition set from Antique Papery I believe it's the Victorian backgrounds I will double check that as far as I know it's still available and so pretty so so pretty And they're kind of like an ATC size. Okay. I'm just going to... Yes, yes, yes. I kind of love that the word flora is behind there. And again, I'm noticing a bit of colour on my brush, so just wiping off the excess. making sure you've got no bubbles underneath oh I think that's so pretty okay two to go Part of me wants to play with that background on the foreground, so I think I want to have a play with using some of this. And 
I realize it's going to cover some of the hole in the center that we've punched out but that's okay we can cut around that once it's dry I'm not going to worry about that right now I think the thing I'm loving the most about these is that there is so much to look at. It's so fun. My eyes are dancing across all of the details, which I'm loving. Okay, and... About this little butterfly here. I'll pop him down there. I might add just a touch more glue before I pop him down. Perfect. Do I want anything else on there? Hmm. Well, maybe a little mushroom. I kind of think about mushrooms when I think about fairies, I must say. Almost like it would be a fairy's table or seat. Imagine a cluster of mushrooms and all varying sizes and the fairies would use the tallest one as their table and the smaller ones as their seats. Kind of building myself a fairy dining room really. <laughs> oh my goodness. The things I think sometimes. Yep. Okay, and then the back. This is really pretty in here. Sorry, I don't know if you can see. I'm looking at this one here. And loving it. Let me see if I can tear this with my ruler. Just because of the location. Running out of room, guys. I might as well just tear the rest of it, I'm thinking. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Tissue paper is so flimsy to work with. Okay. 
Okay. And I think I want more than less in this instance. Beautiful. I'm noticing a little colour on my brush, so again, just wiping that off. And that's for two reasons in my mind. Partly so that I don't change the colour of the tissue that I'm popping down next, and also to keep that colour out of my glue. just noticed a telephone it says telephone that's what I love about this stamp there's so much detail in it My DIY Mod Podge, I think, has a little more water content than perhaps the store-bought Mod Podge. So if you were concerned about using a DIY Mod Podge, you can certainly try the store-bought. And I did consider using the store-bought, but I decided I would try my DIY and see how it goes and so far I'm really happy with it oh my gosh they're fun okay we have one more and thinking flowers I really love this little bouquet here. I wonder if that will fit. Hmm, I think I can make that work. I will have to take some of it away, but that's okay. And of course that didn't tear where I wanted it to. Never mind. Okay.
sure it went down exactly the way I was looking at it earlier, but it looks okay. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Now... a tiny piece of flower there that just doesn't look like it belongs anywhere Oh, I don't think I want to add anything else to that. No, no, I don't. Okay. What do I want to play with? butterfly at the back. I feel like he's very sweet. Please don't tear, butterfly. Oh, I think you did slightly. I know I can add water to do this, but I really don't want to at this stage. Hmm, having said that, I should have because I've just torn him some more. I think this is going to be a shabby butterfly. It's going to be showing a little bit of fragility and age, I think. <laughs> a bit like me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I love that. I 
I really, really love that. Okay, so that's all six of our cards. Or CD covers, sorry. I'm going to leave them to dry. Okay. I might stop the camera and I will dry these and I'll be back shortly.